things are all working. Number two working. Yep. There you go guys. Move some of this crap. Let me get my chair in. That's about straight. Right, so somebody, uh, I think it was, what was his name, uh, Dave, uh, from Davis D, I think he's called, asked me if I could <clears throat> if I could swing the image Like a 365, uh, three, like, what was it, 360 degrees or something like that, or 180, one or two, so that you can see. So we, so we're practically the right way up. Uh, so I'm the right way up to you, and this is the right, so everything's right, which is what we are looking for doing there we go and we're about right yeah I think we're about right we'll yeah let's go for zoom all the way in find the middle of the the middle of the uh, middle of the you can read all that find the middle probably about it isn't it it's probably about the centre which is what we want uh, maybe do some, some fine tuning on it tomorrow so if I zoom back out look at that There you go, guys. You can actually see everything I do now. That's not bad. Yeah. get it all finalised and everything's centred lovely tomorrow morning. <coughs> See that's slightly off because this is 
centered there and that's perfectly straight there but it's slightly that way but it's not bad but you can all see look at that let's go to the bottom of them I'll move that slightly up about there should give us dead centre look at that pretty much but I'll come back down a bit That's dead centre. That's perfect that. Yeah, I could do with moving that slightly over, but I can make all of, I'll make all the final adjustments tomorrow. I can't be bothered with it now. side because I'm left handed. Now I can't see the meter. But we're going to have to have it that side. But down there with a radio on there. Not looking down the meter, we're in the best positions there. That's the best position for the meter. That's no problem because you can get the idea. actually quite good. It's better than what it was. So we need to get one done. We need to get one done for bench two now. Uh, for bench one sorry. <coughs> I had a bit of issue with this last few weeks getting cameras to work and I had to mess about unplugging them and all sorts but uh, just bring this down a bit whoa A bit longer. That one there's dead right. That one there's a bit long. Just 
just making some adjustments while we're talking. That's it. That's it. Yeah, because that's right. It's better than what it was. That's right. And that's right. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> go through all the cameras so there's camera one got a bit of a glare because I like that song but uh, that'll be going into it camera two camera three and camera four <laughs> Yeah, so let's see what comments we've got. I mean, see what comments we've got. This is this is the one, isn't it? Good no. Well, the adverts. Yeah, that's the issue there, Mike. Uh, yeah, the that's about as best as I can get uh, for the light, you know. Yeah, it tends to finger on it. Uh, yeah, 180 degrees, around 180. Uh, well, I've done that now. So you and us can see everything the same way up oh, yeah. That's a good point that Dave. Uh, sorry Brian. Uh, it's Brian isn't it? Yeah, Brian Dave, yeah. Yeah, it's a good point actually Brian. Absolutely. And yeah, so I've done that now. That's a correction that's been made. Um so we've got that sorted. <clears throat> but uh, unfortunately there's nothing I can do about the lighting situation at this point you know it's not too bad I mean if I was to put a brighter thing down there you know if it was to put like something down there that was a bit brighter than that green that would probably help matters it would reflect the light better but <clears throat> there is a light in the camera but it only comes on when I press record you know there is actually a record light and you can't you can't utilize that unless you're actually in record uh, but I think that's as good I think that's as good as I'm going to get for now there is room for improvement There is room to make improvement, obviously. Uh, we can make room for we can make improvements as we move along. 
which is what we've been doing all the time anyway. Uh, I mean, we've been we've been improving things as we're going along. So, you know, yeah, it's it's all getting better. You know, everything's getting improved. It's getting better. The, you know, it's. It's taken us a while to get here, <clears throat> you know, it's taken us a while to get here, but we are doing it. <coughs> I need to have another bracket made, I need to have another one of them mounts made, uh, for, for camera, for camera one. Get camera one up there. Yeah, I had the camera the wrong way around, and I dopey bleeder, and I. Trouble is, so it took somebody to realise it, to run to, took somebody to spot it, to maybe bloody notice it, but. So now you can get the bird's eye view as I get here. You can see all the muck ups, everything, the way I see it now. And actually, having the camera swung that way, it actually covers more of the bench. I'm not bothered about the very last part of the bench because there's nothing there except tools and you know, nothing there at the back of the bench apart from the plug sockets and tools. The only problem is, is my bloody plug socket, I've only got four plug sockets left. Mind you, that's, that's enough though, because four of them are taken by appliances. I've got the laptop in one, I've got, well, say laptop, the tablet, I've got the tablet in one. I've got that light in the other, that light's getting moved into the, into the, so, into the other socket. That doesn't have to look at that, that doesn't have to be there all the time. And the solder station is in there. And that's it. I'm really pleased with the way it's turning out. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, the workshop, the workshop is now starting to come together. You know, we've gone from having funny angles, strange angles, weird angles, to getting things pretty much right now. And, you know, it's, yeah, I don't think there's a lot I'm going to be able to do about the lighting over that bench, um, but I see, I know what Mike's saying and I understand his point entirely, a bit more like wouldn't go miss. I could probably turn up, I could probably turn up the, what do you call it? The exposure. I could probably set the exposure a bit higher, but we're not going to look into doing that now. We'll do that at some other point. But you know, everything now is, seems to be okay. <coughs> yeah, but like I say, I had this issue where I'd start this program 
and the cameras wouldn't start, I had to keep unplugging them, pissing about. And what had happened was the software got confused. So what I did, because it, it was looking for multiple cameras, because the sockets had got changed. So it was looking for multiple cameras, so what I did, it was looking for double the amount, so what I did, I unplugged all the cameras, I, did, well, I didn't unplug them, I deleted them from the software and re-added them and now when I switch the software on all the cameras come on with the exception of camera 3 but I think there's a loose connection in that because I tap it and come, just touch it and it comes on so you know I can live with that uh, but they, they all work now we still get the we still we still lose the odd camera here and there. There's nothing much I can do about that. That's always going to be a fact of life uh, at this point. But you know, it's <clears throat> everything is is getting there, isn't it? I mean, the workshop's getting there. You know, yeah, there's camera three. Yeah, we're gonna need to sort the workbench out. Finish putting that uh, signal generator tracer together. Uh, might finish that off tomorrow actually. Uh, needs to put needs the speaker screw. I did super glue, but it's coming drip. So it needs glue, it needs to screw it in. So we'll dig out some hardware for that maybe. <coughs> and we'll see. And we can then uh Yeah, so it'll be nice to actually have Yeah, we'll sort all these wires and stuff out tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching and liking. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And join me and Steve live tomorrow. I'll be preparing that shortly for me and Steve to become live. Tomorrow we'll be on about three. Uh, please come and say hello if you want to uh, if you want to buy me a coffee if you think I'm uh, worthy of a coffee then feel free buy me a coffee if you don't think I'm worthy then obviously you don't but you don't have to it's not a requirement it's a request it's not oh it's not even a request it's an option should I say anyway you all take it easy and join me and Steve live tomorrow we'll find something to do Keep you guys occupied and then to keep you guys entertained. Give it, thank you very much once again. You all stay safe and have a very, very, very good night. Bye for now, folks.